Yo, what is going on boys? Asian Sensation back with another banger. Today's episode is a super exciting one as this is the start of something special. I am hosting a $500 pro player tournament with the top 18 players in the entire world. And today's episode, we have round three where I am playing Lokesh, trying to make it into round four and playing who I believe is the top player in the world right now, Foxito. So we have some very, very good players in this tournament. They aren't just pulled from like the top people that place on the leaderboards. No, this is actual like pro server. Like these are the top of the line players, which was the goal of this tourney. That's why I wanted to get in here. So what better than to get all these people playing together, get some fire content and get after it. So let's get it. If you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for future content of the like. All right, boys, game one, let's get it. We got offside. Um, I'm gonna rock dart farm ace, I think. Because Lokesh has been practicing a lot of heli, I don't think he would feel comfortable in a dart v dart. I really don't expect dart farm super. I think it's either going to be... I think it just has to be heli farm ice. I don't see him going anything else, so we'll see. And I'd rather have ace in that matchup as opposed to dart farm super, just because ZMG defense and whatnot are a lot easier with ace. Good luck. Game one. Are we going to see heli farm ice? That is the question. I'm kind of nervous, bro. Even though like it's my own tournament, I'm not even supposed to win because I'm the one sponsoring it. But hopefully all goes well. I expect him to spike the beginning here. Yep. It's heli farm ice. This is good. This is very good. Okay. So we're up against heli farm ice. How do we win this matchup? It's honestly one of the like most OG matchups out there, man. It's such a fun matchup. It's going to come down to really, really good money management if we want to win this game. So good luck, have fun. He's going to be anti-stalling right off the rip, as he should. Because late game, if I get infinite farms, I actually do out late game heli farm ice. But if he manages to play this in a successful drain game fashion, we're going to struggle a little bit. So I'm going to go straight for my 1-0 farm here. I can't really break his anti-stall right now, so it's not worth sending, I don't think, till round 4. But this round, we can send him a bunch of balloons here it's gets you on strong here we want to make sure our live count stays healthy that's going to be a big thing because if i get down too low then i have to like over defend a little bit i think it's fine to play a little bit um more aggressive than i normally would i don't know i'm, I'm trying to like okay i don't think he anti-stalls that round unless he spikes he's spiking but i think that stalled out the round no it didn't wow 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 he's really coming into this anti-stall so we're defending which is great He's going to get out his plantation any second now. I'm not going to be able to get mine until the start of next round, unfortunately. But it could be a lot worse. So yeah, he's just really, really honing in on making sure these rounds are short. We probably get sent a lot of balloons right here. Um, so I'm going to need to get up my second trip dart immediately. There we go. We don't want to be chasing at all here. So we send blacks here, 100p, because it's going to force a lot of defense. I mean, he has a 0-0 heli. That's it, bro. That's all he has for defense. Do I need to aggro right now? No, but this should just force snap freeze. Yep, there's a snap freeze. Him getting snap freeze isn't necessarily a bad thing for him. Sure, he's putting $400 in his defense, but it's also, um, it's going to be anti-stalling a little bit better than if it was non-snap freezed. So if I go for my farm here, do I get immediately punished by a rush? Probably. But I'm close to affording my spolt anyways, so it's fine. I was floating a little bit of extra cash there. This will be my spolt on last. Get you on strong. That's good. And let's just force double ice with a couple sets of whites. Really what we're looking to do. Force the double ice. There we go. Perfect. And let's go for a farm here. And we go for this. So this is overall a fine spot. I think we're doing fine. This is not bad at all. Sure, I only have 300 eco, but my farms aren't terrible. Is he going to aggro this round? No. I want to go for the plantation here, but I'm not able to do that because if I do that... I'm not going to be able to afford my jug since he's anti-stalling. It's crazy how powerful anti-stalling is on this map. Or just on any map in general, I guess. But this is fine. We get our jug up here. Get you on strong. I'm going to save my spike. For now. We'll have you on strong. Um, He went straight for quad darts. I guess he's not messing around here. He's saving up a lot of money though. So we just know a rush is coming. This is fine. We defend. And now I go for my farm. He sent like the absolute minimum there. This is a-okay with me. It's not ideal, but we're we're doing fine. We'll send him a camel lead because it forces rotors plus his camo detection. Which is really good. And he's saving up for it. Okay, he's finally got it. 
We're on pace to bank next round, probably. Let's keep it on strong. Last, last. We expect to get rushed here soonish. We want these both on strong. I'm going to have to upgrade this one to enhanced eyesight. There's some range so we can hit this uh, part of the track. Um, okay, we probably get rushed here, right? Most people would rush towards the end of round 14 to prevent my bank. It's looking like he's just playing passive and going for BIA. This is fine. I mean, I'm going to bank this round. Like I said, he's been maximum anti-stalling, so it's really hard for me to get good forms here. Yeah, let's go like that. That defends. Didn't have to burn any spikes either, so that's really good. Go ahead and force double ice here. Really what I'm looking to do. And then we can actually aggro on this next round too. Let's see what he goes for. I'm going to set up double ice. That's fine. And he probably BIAs this round, huh? Can I do the same? I don't think I can. Uh, 31. No, I can't go for it. So we're not going to be able to BIA for a little bit. It's, it's fine, but... We'll manage. We'll manage. We're still in an okay spot here. It's not amazing, but it's not that terrible either. We're going to have to defend Moab's next round. Make sure these are all on last. Um, I really want to cash out here and go for my BIA, but I don't think that's the right move. Let's get ready for Moab's. Like this. I'm going to send a Moab, I would imagine. So I'm forcing defense and his helis are chasing. This is good. I'm going to go for it here. So this is going to bait a Moab. Which we can defend the first one on boost. And then the second one we should have enough to... Hopefully get up a uh, fan club. We're going to boost this one right away. Jug on first. Bike. Okay, we defend that. And for the second one we have... Okay, let's do some calcs here. Are we going to be able to afford here? Oh my god. That's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, we're going to rush him here. Oh, we just lost the game because of that play. We might choke to that. We get a boost. That's good. I don't want to reveal ace quite yet. I don't think it's the move. Um, What do I do now? I think I just lose, bro. And we commit to the round 22 fact, but we just lose. It's over. I'm going to try my best, but yeah, we just lose. Thought I had more. I thought I was going to be able to afford a fan club, but he literally sent that Moab when the natural lights came through, and that is honestly what kind of screwed us over. I'm not going to lie, man. That's what screwed us over. So, what do I have to do now, bro? I mean, he's got like... A fairly cooked up BIA. First, first. So if I sell this for 25, 75, so I need 6,500 before I can even get my facility. We're just broke, my guy. We are indeed broke. No way that's hitting the end of the map or start of the map. That's. It's... We're dead. Yeah, I mean, we, we lost that game anyways, so it's fine. That was just so bad. That was so bad. It didn't even matter if I defended that, because I still lose anyways. I'm just broke. I can't win that game ever, unless he chokes. So, for my losings, I want to go on Ghostly Coast. Now, Subfarm Ice is banned on this map, so we're going to be going Subfarm Glue. He's probably going to go Boat. Good luck. Alright, game two, we're going Ghostly Coast. Um, I think he's just going to go Boat Farm Mortar here. But he asked if Ice was banned, and it is banned. Because so far, Ice is broken on this map on right side because Ice spot's better, so it's not fair. It's advantageous to one side. So it's likely going to be a Sub Farm Mirror, or Sub Farm Glue Mirror, I would imagine. I think he goes straight for the Glue, here, or the Sub here. He's going for the Farm. I think going for the Sub Start's just better, though. It saves us a few leaks. Sure, he gets one more banana than me, but he's going to leak a ton right here. Let me go straight for Twin Guns. Perfect. Is he going both our mortar? No, he's going sub. Okay. He's going to get two more bananas than me, but he's going to leak a lot too. I'm going to start with a 1-1 because 
I'm gonna save some lives. And now we'll go for our farm. I, this is just not optimal start, but it works. It does work. Is he gonna afford air burst here? He's not. He's gonna leak a little bit. Okay, he gets it. Fine. All right, bank here, hundred percent. Does he get the bank though? Okay, nice. So we need an airburst or else we're dead round 15. He also might be dead round 15, huh? Not having spikes kind of sucks here, bro. Not gonna lie. Okay. Um, let's go like that. See what he does. You're dead. What? Yeah, Aang right here. Never punish, never punish. Okay. It's fine. Go for our airburst here. Actually, I want to act like I'm broke when I'm... I mean, I am floating some cash, but... We probably have to boost next round, not the end of the world. If we do have to boost. He's going to BIA right here, isn't he? No. Okay, he's going to play full aggro here then. He's going to send me a Moab for sure. Um, If I cash out, it's not a huge deal, I don't think. I think I just cash out. Yeah, we just cash out here. Go like that. Yeah, I think that's the move. So he just went for his BIA. That seems greedy. We'll try to punish here. He might just be having like 5k cooked up in his BIA here though. Is the slight concern. Loon boost it. How much money is he floating? Okay, he's going for that. Just in a couple ceramics. Does that defend? We get a boost. That's great. He's down to one boost. So I have big boost advantage here. This is great. Does he send me a BFB here? Probably. And we can defend on boost, I think. Yeah, I actually have a play here. It's going to involve selling a reactor. Oh, he's, he is going to send one. Okay. Okay. We just boost here. I think this defense. Right? Nice. He's like fully going. We like this. We like this. How's he going to defend this? He only has one boost left as well. He probably thought I cashed out there, but I did not. So if he sells his reactor to do what I did, I'm going to send him camo pinks. Okay, he cashed out to defend that 100%. That's good. We got a cash out out of him. That's really good. I'll take that every day of the week. That might come unglued. Okay, he's fine. He's got a boost again. He's choking, bro. If I lose this game, man, we're up two boosts. This is really, really, really good for us. We should not lose this. But anything is possible, bro. We're freaking, we're freaking chokesation, bro. We've seen some stuff, man. We have seen some stuff on this channel, haven't we? I'm gonna get some eco here. To a thousand. There we go. All right. So he's got a little bit more defense than us, but I don't think he has like much at all cooked up in his BIA. So I, unless that's a bad read, but I think we have a nice advantage here. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to move this up here so we can't tell if I have valuable bananas or not. Which cannot choke any dumb rushes. Do I really need to go for a glue hose next round? I might do it just because. I'm not sure if it's necessarily needed or not, but... All right, so we're going to sell this and cash it out after this round, by the way. He has no boosts left. Keep that in mind as well. He has no boosts. We're going to go ahead and sell this after this round. Boom. And we go for this. 
Nice farms, boys. Nice farms. Really, really good spot for us. So he got his farm, but... I wonder if he cashed out to do that. He's keeping his BIA as well. I guess he's expecting this to go to Uber late game. But I think it ends like around 34. If I had to guess. We'll be fine against natural balloons here. Blue hose and reactor combo is just nasty. Unless he tries any cheeky layers, but you're not going to really layer anything past these two bad boys. I guess the biggest mystery is like what he had in his BIA. I don't know. Really don't know. Go for that. If this baits a BFB, that's fine. Like, I'm completely fine baiting a BFB. I can get up the uh, sufficient defense pretty easily if I need to. But this game is in our hands so far. Have the advantage. So he just got his second fac? Ooh, we got a nasty out farm. We have a nasty out farm. Okay, never mind. He just got his third. We're still ahead, though, I think. Pretty sure. We are indeed ahead. That's not by that much, because he does have more eco than me. Yeah, it's actually closer than I thought it was. Nicely played, Lokesh. This is like the only map you're going to see this strategy on as well. I, I mean, it is viable on Water Hazard. I think I'm like the only one to ever use it on it, but it actually is really decent on Water Hazard. So we want all our ballistics towards the back of the map. I'm going to place this guy. This will defend. Just uh, two, two Bally's and an Airburst. We'll get the job done. Assuming everything stays glued... And it looks like we're good. We're up a whole facility now. Extremely good. Really, really good spot. So I'm go for another farm here. Keep farming like crazy. The, the biggest game decision uh, or deciding factor is going to be when you rush. But really what we want to do is instead of just spamming first strike capabilities, we really want to hone in on making sure we have permanent defense. Making sure we have the maximum amount of ballistic missiles on the map to defend against balloons and whatnot it's going to be pretty crucial so so far so good i mean like i said we have a nasty out farm really strong like we're just going to pull away in farms more and more but the problem is it's not going to matter too much as we uh enter into the late game make sure we're defending we're good he might just rush me right here he does i can get up defense quick enough to defend i think I don't want to throw and like rush right now because it's going to ruin my eco. We don't want. Okay. Let's see if he goes for left side or right side. Glues too. Um, I'm going to go for one more farm and now I'm going to start prepping defense. Start prepping boys. It's doomsday prep baby. Let's get it. We want to enhance eyesight on these as well, so we get full map coverage. So there's no point in like starting to send spaced. I I've learned that before. The strategy is actually to uh, focus on sending. Um... Okay, I don't I don't like this play. Oh, never mind. He is sending groups. Okay. I mean, I can boost here. We want to cycle our boost here, don't we? I guess I want as many subs on the map as possible first. Come on, come on, come on. Counter? Do I have farms? I have farms up here. I mean, I'm going to have to cycle a boost here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, I don't have boost. Hold on, we have the first strike down here. And I'm going to have boost in a second here. You have to use it. Dude, no way. Come on, come on, come on. Still have a farm up there. Come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Let's go. I am oh my God. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. Holy holy i almost choked that game away bro why was i i should have been microing the first strikes there not freaking getting 400 of them up because that's a waste of money
Okay. So what does he go on shapes? Early farm ice, I imagine. He would pick this. I thought he would pick Blast Populous or something. Um, so how do we beat Heli on this map, boys? It's a really tough matchup. It hard counters Cobra because Vile Frost is super, super good. I think we're just forced to go Dark Farm Ace again here, unfortunately. It's just my best contending strategy on this map. I really wish he picked like Blast of Populous or something, because if he picks Blast, I can go Cobra and counter Heli Farm Glue. But on a good Heli Farm eight Ice map, it's difficult really difficult so we'll see if we can play better this time i'm gonna play higher eco than i did on the offside game but yeah it's currently one to one okay so he's gonna anti-stall here we're gonna want to start off with the dart here once he places a spike yep as expected throwing my phone away because it's buzzing and we'll go for our farm it's kind of a blunder i'm not gonna get any bananas unless he let that balloon sneak through oh yeah we're good we're not getting anything fine though we're sending that and save up for our trip dart so yeah it's highly farm ice we knew that was coming and it, it's pretty easy to anti stall on this map as well which kind of sucks for us because the natural ones go around this little like circle over here makes things tough for us let's try to rush a little bit here maybe hopefully we can extend the round out any seconds count bro Okay, I'm just gonna full Q pinks here. Let's get you on strong and last. And I'm gonna go straight for two trips because I think we kind of need to, but should be okay. There we go. Okay. Is that anti stalled? Um, I I feel like I gotta extend it out a little bit. We'll take that. We'll take that. He's mad. <laughs> Sick anti style buddy. Okay, we take that every day of the week. I'm gonna rush a little bit here as well. I'm trying to extend these rounds out if I can cheese any way possible. Okay. Now we're gonna go for our plantation. He's gotta send me a ton of greens to do anything here. Go for that. And the spades of the ice, that's great, because now he's kind of Okay, still hovering his heli at the start to uh, anti-stall these rounds. Super well played. But I think that round got stalled out too. If I'm not mistaken. Either way, it's like these little, little things just keep adding up and adding up. So he's probably going to want to go for a farm. We want to slowly drain his life. Can I give me one banana, please? Thank you. Really good. Keep these both on strong. In case he sends any rushes, we can uh, deconstruct the layers down a little bit, you know? The lower layer it is, the easier it is to... Uh, the slower it's going to be we'll go for this this is going to be our good old spolta rooney obviously fine afford 36 dollars off okay nice rush nice rush let's force double ice here come on he is kind of low on live so i think this is fine to do Ooh, i'm a super greedy play super super greedy play but i'm going for it Gonna go for a balloon boost here. We have all our spikes, which I think is just where this comes into play here, right? Uh, we just boost here. That's fine. I think that's fine. To get an extra farm for an entire round and a half, I think is completely valid. I think that's completely valid. Okay, strong. Now I have to get ready for rerush. Um, is he gonna be rushing? Let's go straight for that. That's fine. That actually, I think that play was worth it. Like, I sacrificed a boost, but look how many more rounds of plantation money I'm getting. This is completely fine. I'm going to hide this farm in the corner. He's on PC. It's going to be harder for him to see. This is like the sweatiest matchup. I love this. That's what it's all about, baby. Okay, so we're going to want to bank this round for sure. Okay. And burn spikes if I see any balloon on my map right here. Any balloon comes up, I'm spiking. Yep. First, first. Um, boost. It's fine. Living, living, living. 
He didn't bloom boost that though. Keep that in mind. He's gonna self arms. <laughs> Easy bait. All right, we're living. Boost. Defending, right? Nice. I think he's dead doing all out here. I don't think he defends this. Oh, God. He's dead, right? I think he's dead. He defended that? Okay, we got a rerush here. I think we win that. He's got ice stall. Uh oh. How many times can he do it though? Let's go! 2 1, baby! Let's go! Come on now! Come on now! I'm winning this shit, bro! Come on now! 2 1, baby! Let's get it! Now, what map you want? Please tell me you want Blast of Populous. Please! Tell me you want Blast of Populous. I dare you. You might pick Swan Lake. I wouldn't surprise. It wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. I kind of want to try something crazy and go like Boat, Obra, Glue or something. Holy baby. Woo. Let's get it. So yeah, I'm expecting Swan Lake or Blast. I think it's going to be what happens. We'll have to wait and see though. This is a game, bro. So if we win this, I'll put the bracket open up on screen. Um, if we win, we play Foxito, who's the top seed in the tournament and who I think is the best player in the world. Um, it's either it's between him, Floosh, and Sinful. And I feel like he's kind of had Floosh number, but they've gone the distance. But those are the top three players. I honestly think Lokesh is like a top five player on a good day, bro. I, I think he's borderline top five. And we're playing extremely... We're clutching up, bro. Like, we're, we're like winning when it matters. I guess if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I that was insane, bro. I realized, like, dude, this guy has like no defense, and he's been sending me massive rushes. I'm just gonna catch him off guard with the region rainbow rush. All right, he wants hydro dam. What the heck is this pick? If he goes boat farm glue, I'm not too scared, bro. I kind of just want to go boat farm whiz here, but I think boomer's probably better, right? What about Wiz though? Like it's uh he's he sends so many choke rushes though, bro. He sends so many choke rushes. Um let me think here. Wiz is decent here. I just feel like I'm more comfortable with Boomer, but I'm gonna try Wiz. Alright, I honestly think Boat Farm Glue is overrated on this map. That, I think that's a hot take. But I honestly believe that. I want to play this anti-stall start. I start with our boat. Um, because if he does have boat farm glue, which I think he's going to bring, he has a late game advantage. So I think anti-stalling the first round is totally fine. I mean, Lokesh is 100p a um, boat farm glue player here. So that's what I expect to be up against. I think I just go straight for grape shot here. Oh, I butchered my start. Oops, I butchered my start. Oh, he did too. Okay, we're both not getting it. <laughs> I thought we were... Okay, we both didn't get our farm till now. This is really good. Completely fine with that. That's the power of an anti-stall round one. Everyone is confused, and as a result, like we both missed out on a ton of bananas, which honestly benefits me since, like I said, both arm glue out late games us since he has a stall. So this is fine. He sends me anything, we just go straight for faster shooting, keep you on close. And that'll uh, handle for the most part. We're just going to keep sending. We want him to leak down as much as humanly possible here. I don't... Okay, he's burning spikes now. That's great. I'm going to stop sending now, though, so I can save up for my plantation. Or I could opt for aggro playstyle, but... Oh, it's, it's low-key a play, man. Like, sending a bunch of blues here and then going following it up with greens around 6... It's kind of nasty, but he's going to slide out far, and this is fine. Like, this round will be stalled out, so I should still get some extra bananas, I think. 
Yeah, I mean, it's all right. Okay. We're gonna go for a second boat in a good destroyer spot, which is this spot. Now, the spot like over here is still good, like right underneath my farmer. But this is just a better overall destroyer spot than his spot. Because that's better map coverage. So we're kind of thinking of the late game or the long game here. He's still queuing. He does get layered on though, no? Let's try a big rush here. Let's see if this does anything. I'm curious. Could force some defense. My life count's fine. I mean, we're actually chilling. No way he was just okay against that, right? Oh, he went for another farm. When did he do that? I did not even notice that. Okay, we just get a free boost out of him this next round then, eh? Yeah, let's get a free boost out of him. Playing aggro here. That's a boost. That's a boost. You're boosting, buddy. Yes, sir. Perfect. And if he rushes back, that's fine. Like, we boost. It's not the end of the world. Boost. Okay. Send it back. Let's see what he does. It's fine. Sure, he's out farming, but we're forcing a lot of selling and rebuying. Really good. It's got to be glue, bro. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Okay. I can just read Lokesh's readouts, bro. I just know. Or his loadouts. I just... Once you play, or... Once you play someone so much, you just kind of know their next move, bro. We cannot get caught boosting this next round, though, or else we lose. So, keep that in mind. He upgrades his farm. I'm going to... Okay. You're selling that farm. Uh, or destroyer works. Nicely done. I'm just going to go straight for my destroyer. I act like I'm rich, even though I'm broke, right? We're very scared of an all out here, by the way. It's terrifying. On boost, I think we might be okay, though. Okay. This farm suck, man. He probably rushes here, though, huh? You going to rush me, bro? Let's go ahead and rush here. Literally just lead with this and then follow it up on the tail end with some zebras. This actually layers like crazy. Yeah, you might be dead. We get a boost. Okay, this probably baits an all out here, huh? This probably baits an all out. So we have to get ready. No all out. Okay, this is good. His farms suck. His farms suck. Mine do too, but it's not a huge deal. He's down uh, to one boost, I believe, right? I think so. I'm going to fake rush here. Fake glue hose, hopefully. Nice. Easy reads. I'm going to try to bank here, I'd imagine. Right? So round 16, bank. How does he defend round 18 with a bunch of stuff at the tail end of it? Like, some cam like a camo ceramic over the top of it. And maybe do some damage. This is an interesting one. We can just always go for a balloon rush round 18. And I don't think it's a terrible play. But the thing is, I also need to save up money for like a round 18 all out, don't I? Around 20 all out, I mean. I don't think he ever rushes me here. He just plays this passive. So we're going to rush here. Force double destroyer. That's fine. That's all I really wanted to achieve with that rush. I have boost to burn if I need to as well. If he tries greeting for BIA, like, what do I do, man? This is tough now. This is really tough. But the thing is, we have to keep in mind, like, he got an extremely late, extremely late bank. So he's not as rich as we think he is in game right now. Is that a fair assessment? I feel like that's a fair assessment. Um, I don't think we ever all out next round because he has a lot of selling power in his bank and a lot of money built up. But this will be a... Okay, just greeted for that. Go and rush here. Forces glue ability. Yep, that's fine. Now we followed up with this. 
is fine. I still have enough money to defend somewhat of a counter, I think. Right? I think he all outs here, doesn't he? He's all outing, right? Oh, just a regular Moab, okay. Fine against that. Oh, he still has a bank up? What the heck? When did he get that? Um, Part of me wants to all out him here, but... I don't know if I have that ability right now. So, what if we just... Oh my gosh, this is a tough spot. He's playing this really well. I think we have to cheese with the Camel Ceramic here. Layer over the top here, maybe? I don't think he has a boost, does he? I think he's dead. I don't think he has a boost, does he? Does that defend? That might defend. Well done. We're going game seven or game five. Dang. O Farm Glue's just meta on that map, bro. Well played, I guess. Okay, what is the last map we're gonna go to here, boys? This this series is going the distance. I had a map in mind. It was A game. The buck. Cause I think this is a map he's super unfamiliar with. Um he might I bet it's a Cobra Mirror, and then if it is, we're sitting fine. Because this is an extremely good Cobra loadout. It out late games Cobra Dart Ace. It is just really good. I think this is the best play. So what does he go that would hard counter us? I mean, there isn't really anything. Ellie Farm Ice is just not like a thing on this map. Because Ice is like your main worry. And Mortar is just not really that good on this map either. Mortar and Ice are like the two best counters to Cobra. He's mad! <laughs> saying bring it on um but let me think here i don't know what he's gonna go I really don't but like i said uh mortar and ice are really good counters to cobra and this map kind of nerfs those because the, the natural balloons are literally just a massive circle which sucks for both those towers but yeah i, I like our spot here he could go something like dart farm ace and if he farms extremely well he has a great chance of winning this game um, but it's not a free win whatsoever that like I said adjustment is extremely difficult on this map I think Cobra is just so strong on this map So we'll see what we're up against. He's really thinking hard over there. He could go Wiz Farm Ace That's probably the most likely and I reason I say that is because he uses Wiz Farm Ace on interchange That's what I'm expecting to see. It's Cobra. Okay Cobra mirror it is baby to go on to the freaking next round Good luck have fun we're in for a good one, boys. Strap up. Like I said, natural balloons are extremely difficult on this map, so we really have to be on our A game against them. You right there, boys. Be on your A game. So I accidentally went for wired funds. All right, boys. I misclicked, so we're running back. All right. Over... All right, here we go, boys. Game five, A game. It's Cobra v. Cobra. I surrendered round one last game because I misplaced my Cobra, but good luck, have fun. I'm gonna use my same placements. Good luck. Let's see how this goes, boys. It's probably Cobra with Ace. I think it's gonna be a mirror match. I'd be kind of shocked if it's not, to be honest. It's gonna be an anti salt round. That's fine. I'm just gonna chill with this. Go straight for our whiz here now. Let's see where he places his. I assume he has whiz. He might be going dart. Is he actually going dart? Holy, I think he's going dart. No, he's using whiz. Okay, he's using a little bit better of a fireball spot. 
the reason I'm using mine is literally just for cleanup of natural balloons. Having something to hit the balloons at the end of the map, honestly, is kind of nice. I think it'll help us out a fair amount. I'm gonna keep on ecoing here. Getting my second wired funds before the end of this round is gonna be the plan. There we go, wired funds number two. He still only has one wired funds, I believe. Is that about to change? Yeah, he only had one. And I think it's fine. Let's get intense magic. It's just gonna help us out a little bit. And then these cobras on strong will shred the pinks for us. Is really all we're looking for them to do. Get this. Um, first is fine for a little bit. Might be on a strong. The reason you want your cobra down strong too is because cobra shred two layers. And if they're targeting reds, that's just like dumb because you can rather have them target blues instead. So we're leaking a little bit more. I don't know if he's burned a spike or not. If he has, we're actually like ahead. It's super even though. It is super even. I get another cobra down. I want to spread my cobras out. This way, if any regions are on the map, it's just going to have better control against regions is kind of the logic there. We're okay. Very similar leak situation. Neither of us are necessarily playing high eco. Don't think it really matters. Um, Does he go for lightning here? I might. Let's just save a few leaks. Oh, also I have the bad side for Wiz. I didn't even think about that. I have the bad side. Because lightning veers to the right side. Which is like the end of the map for him but for me that's like over here no so like we gotta really not utilize lightnings as much because if we utilize lightning too much it's just gonna end up killing us that kind of sucks actually okay he's just full-on ecoing I, I think that's fine i'm gonna send him some balloons next round too i want to get my eco up a little bit let's do that and he went for a second whiz. That's an over defend. You don't need that. If he tries to rush me with anything, we should be fine. Yeah, this should just be fine. He actually sold that second whiz. Just be fine. I'm gonna rush this round. There's a ton of region uh, yellows on this round. So I'm hoping we can um, kind of do some damage here at very minimum. But it looks like he gets up another whiz and is fine. So eco wise, we're probably fairly similar. I would have to imagine. I don't think there's going to be too much of a difference between our eco numbers thus far. I'm going to keep on getting these up. Against a round 11 rush, what are we thinking? I guess literally probably just a fireball, man. Go for a fireball. What a day. Yeah. Go for a fireball. Call it a day. This is totally good. Okay, we'll get monkey sense for camos, I guess. All right. No way he choke rushes me here, right? We're out cobra farming him, I think. I'm not going to go ahead and count all of them, but I think we're fine. Um, He's going to rush here, it looks like. I'm going to force some defense. Not a bad play. He has double lightning, so we, we actually have less defense than him. I think adjusting round 16 is too early, so I'm going to get some eco right now, actually. He might just get scared and follow suit, but it looks like he's just farming on. Okay. Yeah, we'll go for a Dragon's Breath if he decides to send anything around 16. I think that's just our best play to go for right away. If he sends me Ceramics here, I mean, it's kind of a dumb rush. He gets no eco from it, and I'm going to be getting up defense anyways, so I don't think it's really that worth... Okay, he is going to adjust here interesting and he's gonna rush here i'd imagine i'm gonna go ahead and rush him here because he's got all his money invested into um cobras we get a boost out of him that's fine i'll take that i want to stop some of the region nope we're good all right so yeah we can go for an operation dart storm which i think is the next play yeah let's go for an ods or we could go for a never miss. I think ODS is just better. It's 100% a mirror match. There's no way he's bringing anything other than ace here. Just gotta not choke to natural blooms, bro. That's literally all we have to do. 
Um, I think I might rush him right here. Okay, we get another boost. That's great. Okay, we're fine. Does he ever all out here? I don't think so. I can always get up a, uh, whatchamacallit to get my boost back quicker too. A monkey stem. Yeah, we have to go monkey stem. Okay, now what? Um, oh no, my ace is off the map. This is really bad. No, bro, are you f all right, boys, we are not out of the tournament quite yet because this tournament is double elimination style. So you do have to lose two series before you're out of it. So we can still technically win this entire tournament, which is super cool. I like that format. That's why I made it like that. So we're in the loser's bracket and we are going to be playing Chris Langan um, for the losers round three. So it should be a fun one. Make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe because more tournament gameplay is coming. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.